Hi everybody, um, my name is Emma Hunter and um, I don't really quite know why but <laughs> I felt today like I needed to do a video um, to kind of plunge myself in at the deep end and just get on with this whatever it is. Um, so for quite a while now I have been kind of feeling a change inside of me. Um, I don't even really know quite how to describe it, just a feeling like I need to get on and change my life, live kind of a more authentic life I think and really kind of peel back the layers and find out who I am and what it is I should be doing and what it seems to be showing me is that I should be doing some art and I have been crafting for a long time, card making, scrapbooking, um, yeah, paper craft kind of things. And now that seems to be transitioning um, to artwork. I'm doing this fantastic online art course. I cannot recommend it highly enough. Uh, with Tamara Laporte from Willowing. And it's called Lifebook. I'm doing Lifebook 2016. And it's a, a year-long online course where you get sent a lesson every Monday by email um, from Tamara or from some fantastic guest artists. And you can do it completely at your own pace. It's mixed media, um, artwork and some fantastic kind of um, self-awareness, meditations and, and things along the way. So that has been brilliant for me. That has really kind of opened up um, my eyes to what I should be doing. Um, and at the same time, I'm also um, doing an online course with Melody Ross of Brave Girls Club. Um, she has a fantastic Brave Girls University. You sign up for a monthly um, subscription. You can f finish at any time. And she has her Soul Restoration course, which has just been rejigged and refilmed. And again, that's an online course, a little bit of art, but basically it's all about restoring your soul. By the way, I've just watched that first bit back. Um, was anybody ever going to tell me that I have a lisp? <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> Did you know all along, you lot? And nobody told me I have a lisp. <laughs> How did I get to 46 and not discover that? Weird. Okay. So, I'm not really quite sure what the idea of these videos um is going to be but um, as you can see I am a horrifically messy crafter slash artist. Um, I almost hardly know um, of anybody that does creative stuff that isn't actually messy. I think it's something about the way your brain might be wired up. Um, but I will try and tidy up a little bit because if I want to show you anything then you're not actually going to be able to see the desk. Um, but I might do some um, time-lapse videos of um, a piece of art that I'm creating or um, a bit of a tutorial um, in real time. Um, and the kind of things I'm doing mostly are mixed media artwork. So um, I just start with a blank piece of watercolour paper usually and collage on some pretty papers and paint over it and then maybe draw a girl. Actually, I have some here. I know the writing will be completely backwards, but you might read backwards. <laughs> the really weird thing about this whole journey for me is that last year I couldn't draw a circle and make it meet up. Um, so I'm actually still quite stunned when I draw a face that isn't completely hideous and actually I end up really loving them. Um, so that's one of my latest works there and I've called her Gentle Warrior. Somewhere here, aha, I have what I was working on yesterday, um, which is something a bit different. This actually, for me, kind of goes back to the paper craft style because there's been a huge um, trend in these faceless girl stamps recently. Um, and actually I really do quite like the faceless it's not for everybody maybe for doctor who but um 
I don't know, I might draw a face in or I might um, put some meaningful words and a kind of message on there. Um, it's a bit bland at the moment, but it has, I don't know if you can see, lots of lovely gold. Oh, that's a bit better. Gold and bronze and silver. Aha. Uh -huh. hmm. Anyway, that's the kind of thing I've been doing, but that's not probably going to be the only thing because I have a terrible habit of um, keep trying new things and getting my head turned by Pinterest. I think we've all fallen foul of the Pinterest demon. Well, I hope you have. I have. And um, yeah, so I just like to bring you along on the journey, basically. And I really want to encourage people to not necessarily do art, but just to find the thing that makes their soul sing, basically.